that the goat teaches math, we ain't playing around, right? We're here to punch some numbers in the face, get the answer, and go home. You know what I'm saying? All right, so where do you see this trick I got for you today? All right, it's how you're going to times double-digit numbers by 11. All right, now we already know single digits easy, right? 9 times 11, 99, right? 7 times 11, 77, right? We can go on and on, right? Okay, here's the trick for you doing double digits, okay? Here we go. You're going to take this number here, and you're going to bring it down there, okay? And then you're going to leave a space in the middle, and you're taking this one, you're putting it over here, okay? So what do we do with that middle spot now, right? We got an empty middle spot, okay? All you're going to do is you're going to do 2 plus 3, right? You're going to add those two numbers together, all right? 2 plus 3 is 5. There it is. 253 is your answer, all right? Now how simple... All right, so I know what you're thinking. You're sitting there and you're like, what just happened, right? What in the world just happened, all right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to kick it old school for you, right? So you can see why that happened, okay? So here we go. We're going to do 1 times 3, 3. 1 times 2, 2, all right? First step's easy, right? Then remember, we come down here, right, and we leave a 0, okay? Or if you're not a nerd, you're, right, you're going to draw a goat, right? You got your little ear there, right, and one there. Right, you got some face there, and he's smiling, right? He's a happy little goat, right? All right, so now we move over over here. We got one times three, three. Then one times two, two. Okay, now here's what we know, right? Now we just add them up, and we go home, right? All right, so let's do it. Three plus zero, three. Okay, now let's take a look at the middle, right? What happened in the middle here, right? Two plus three. Bro, bro, look up here. Two plus three. All right, there's your five, and here's your two. 253, once again, your answer. All right, so the goat already knows what you're thinking, all right? Goat, that was cool, right? That was so cool, but what do we do if the numbers get bigger, right? Five and seven are much bigger than two and three, all right? So let me show you how, all right? Same thing as before, right? I'm just going to bring that numbers down and leave a space in the middle. How about that? We're almost done, all right? And then, we're just going to add these two guys up, right? We got 5 and 7. 5 plus 7 is 12, all right? So we're going to put the 2 here, and we're going to carry 1 here, and we're just going to add it, right? So 1 plus 5, boom. 1 plus 5 is 6, and 627 is your answer. All right, so now we're going to take a look at multiplying by 12, all right? So we got 30 times 12, right? And I know what you're thinking. It looks scary, right? You want to get a calculator, right? But I'm here to tell you there's no reason, all right? So we're just going to take this problem that looks real scary, and we're going to turn it into two simple, easy problems, all right? We're going to times it by 10, and then we're going to go ahead and times it by 2, and then add them together, okay? So let's take a look, and we'll go through it, okay? So we're going to do 30 times 10, and then 30 times 2, right? Two real simple problems, okay? And in case you haven't figured it out yet, 2 plus 10 is 12, all right? So here we go. 30 times 10. That's pretty easy, right? That's 300. And now we got 30 times 2, right? 30 times 2, even the littlest goats know, is 60. Right? So all we're going to do now is we're going to combine them, right? We're going to add them things together, all right? So we got 300 plus 60. 300 plus 60, come on now. 360. Boom. There's your answer. How about that, right? We just went ahead, boom. We punched some numbers in the face and got the answer real quick, right? So make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, so I can see you next time on the Go Teach Math. Peace.